Yeah, we are back again with another video and this honestly guys is super easy and I've done this in the real world and I still do it to this day if I've got two packs of cards. It is a do as I do routine. It's the easiest one of all but the magicians you're gonna go yes I know how you do that straight away but if you take this into the real world for real people it's gonna fry their brains trust me so let's get in to the performance okay so debbie uh, what's going to happen is you're going to choose a deck so you can either choose the cool deck or the bad cool blue deck which deck would you like the cool deck okay so i want you to pick the cool deck up and give them a shuffle and i'm going to give these cards a very quick shuffle as well and so you don't think I'm controlling any cards, I want you to shuffle my pack as well. Brilliant. Do you know what? I'll give yours a quick shuffle. So it's all, all fair. So you shuffled your deck. You shuffled my deck. I shuffled your deck. It's completely fair. Correct? Yep. Brilliant. Now what I want you to do, to the best of your ability, is spread the cards on the table. Now, I want you to go through and choose any card, okay, and just place it out. Brilliant. That's it. You're already ahead of me, and just close the cards up. So, I'm going to turn away. I want you to look at the card, show the camera the card, then mm -hmm. place your card back on top, and just cut it and bury it in the deck. Okay. I'm going to look away while you do that. So, you're going to look at the card, show the camera, put it on top. And then give it a big cut. Done? Yeah. Okay, I haven't looked at mine. Right, okay, I know what my card is. Do you want to cut mine? No. Nope. Do you want to cut yours? No. Nope. Do you want to shuffle these? No. Nope. Do you want to shuffle them? No. Nope. Brilliant. So you remember your card? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yep. Brilliant. What's going to happen is you're going to find your card in my deck. And I'm going to find my card in your deck. If these 52 cards, your card should be there. Hopefully. So if the if card's not there, it means I haven't got a full deck. So I'm going to take out the card I actually chosen. It was, in fact, if I can find it, right here. So when you found your card, place it, oops, place it down next to mine. Brilliant. So let's recap. You shuffled, I shuffled, you cut, you cut, you pick one card, I pick one card. You took your card out of my deck, and I took my card out of your deck. Yeah. What is the card you, cho you took? Two of Hearts. It was the Two of Hearts. Mm -hmm. That is crazy, because mine's the Two of Hearts. And that is a trick, guys. It is the easiest trick in the world to do, and I'm going to show you how to do this right now. Okay, so this is the tutorial of the trick. So just to let you know, there is no stacks, there's no setup. These are just two borrowed deck of playing cards. That's all you need for the trick. So you've got two packs of playing cards. You ask your spectator which pack they would like to use. And in this, well, when I performed it to Debbie, she wanted to use this cool deck. And I used the bicycle deck. So I told Debbie to shuffle the cards, which she did. She shuffled the cards absolutely fine. And I said, let's randomize it even more. And then this is where you get your secret peak, because you need to peak a card. So I said, I want you to shuffle my pack, and I'm going to shuffle your packet. They're going to shuffle my packet, which I don't care about. The only thing I care about is what this bottom card is. So when you're shuffling the cards, when you give the cards back to the spectator, you just want to know what that bottom card is that is all you need to know so i'm just thinking in my head six of diamonds six of diamonds six of diamonds so i shuffled her packet debbie shuffled my packet and then we'll switch again so now i say i want you to spread the card anywhere you'd like which she did and i take a card out and she will take a card out okay so now I still don't know what her card is. I have no idea what her card is. And 
when you look at your car, you ignore this car. You do have to look at it, but just ignore it. Don't even think right ten of clubs. You just ignore your card. Okay, so you say, take a look at the card. She will look at the card, and I say, I want you to put it on top and give it a cut. And what's happened is, because you placed their card on top and cut the pack, that bottom card, what we remembered, I'll show you be easier. That bottom card, the six of diamonds, the card above that, uh, sorry, below that, if I can find the six of diamonds, these, let's see if I can find the six of diamonds again. Just to show you the six of diamonds, so the card below or above or whatever you want to say, it's right next to the six of diamonds. Okay? So that's all you're looking for. So you're looking for your six of diamonds, where the six of diamonds, and it's just one to the right or one before the six of diamonds. Hopefully that makes sense. So I do the same. I look at my card. I pretend to remember it, but I don't. Then I say, I want you to find your card in my deck, and I'm going to find my card in your deck. And you're not going to think anything of this because you've just swapped cards to shuffle, and you're swapping again to find each other's cards. So you won't think anything of it. So I'm just, like I've just showed you, I'm thinking six of diamonds, six of diamonds, six of diamonds, six of diamonds. Where is it? It's here. Six of diamonds, and the card next to it is the Jack of Clubs. I take mine out, and obviously, because she, she chose a jack of clubs, it would be a perfect match. So I'm going to go through that one more time, but I'm going to reverse their card so you can follow it even, it's a bit easier for you. But you might not need to, you might go, right, I know how to do it, perfect. If you do, brill, but if you don't, I'm going to reverse it. So, uh, shuffle the pack, and they shuffle this pack. I said, let's swap packets, okay, so I need to know what the bottom card is now. So she will shuffle the cards. So I'm thinking eight of diamonds in my head. They swap packets. I say spread the cards and choose any cards. So I'll just choose this one, for example. And she'll do the same. I'll say I want to take a look at your card. I just ignore this and just think eight of diamonds because that's what their bottom card is. I say place your card on top, but I'm going to leave it face up so you can see. And cut. And what's going to happen is that 8 of diamonds is going on top of that 10. And you say, let's swap the cards again. I want you to find your card in this packet. I'll find my card in your packet. Then when you spread, you're looking for your 8 of diamonds. And the one to the right of the 8 of diamonds or below it is their selection. So you, you take out that card and they will take out their card, which is a perfect match. So, yeah, it's very simple. It's super easy to do. Anybody should be able to do this trick. And for magicians, like I said, it's not going to fool you. But for lay people, it kills. So, that's the tutorial. Okay, so that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a very easy card trick. All you have to remember is that bottom card. That is it. And you will blow minds. I trust, yeah, to magicians, I can know, to magicians, it's not going to fool them. You do this to people who don't do magic. You do it to the lay people. You do it down to the pub. Trust me, it is a very good trick. And a trick what is probably forgotten about. And I know a lot of people won't do this because they think it's obvious, but it's not. Trust me. Anyway, you know what to do, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.